Uh, good morning. Well, let's try that one more time. Good morning. Uh, those of you who are in my exercise class know I like to work on voice as we go through our exercise sessions. Um, uh, just a couple comments, a few people I need to thank. Um, I think one of them was already over. My Beaver County exercise group, where are they? Um, I would not be here today if it were not for you. We started seven years ago, and you guys have inspired me all along the way and given me some insight on uh, your journey through Parkinson's. Um, all of my virtual exercise people, who takes virtu who, who exercises in here? Raise a hands. Who exercises? Oh, well, look at that. I love it. Who, who moves? Who moves? We all move, right? Movement is exercise. Okay, so I like to see everybody's hands up there. Um, uh, and then one, one final note, um, one special uh, group of people uh, I would like to, to comment on, uh, Charlie Hurt and Sue Hurt. Um, I've worked with Charlie and Sue now for at least four years, twice a week, in their home. Um, they've given me uh, the view of what it's like to live with Parkinson's uh, day in and day out, and we work on ways to combat the disease through exercise uh, every single week. So I really appreciate what you've done for me and look forward to continuing to work with you. So thank you, Sue and Charlie. <clears throat> uh, my role real quickly here at the foundation is slightly different. Um, my role is to look for new sources of funding for our organization. Um, <clears throat> Christine had mentioned uh, our wonderful sponsors that we have worked with for many years. Uh, and then some who have worked with us new this year, which we greatly appreciate. Um, Diane, who helps to write our grants, and she can put uh, our thoughts into words to help us bring uh, grant money into the organization, uh, is another source of funding for us. But there are so many special people in this room who have made generous donations to the Parkinson Foundation of Western Pennsylvania. Um, I received a phone call from a gentleman Last week, he takes uh, many of our virtual exercise classes, and his question was this. He said, I want to make a donation to your foundation, but I want to know where the money goes. And he said, does, if I make a donation, does it get spread out through the United States somewhere, or is it going to stay local here in Pittsburgh? And it made me think that I need to express that we are different than the National Parkinson Foundation. The National Parkinson Foundation, which is a terrific organization, primarily focuses on research. Right? Parkinson Foundation of Western Pennsylvania, every dollar stays here. Okay? So all of the programming we do, whether it's support groups or exercise groups or um, talk with the docs and uh, uh, different types of seminars that we put on, um, the program here today, we really thank you because so many people have been so generous to us and we just want to greatly appreciate what everyone has done for us. Okay. All right, I'd like to introduce our first presenter today. So Jim Donovan is a multi-platinum musician, trainer, and director of music and wellness at St. Francis University. His TEDx talk, How to Trick Your Brain, into falling asleep has been viewed over six million times to date. He specializes in providing meaningful team building and wellness programs to organizations who value authentic social connection. Donovan was a founding member of the 90s band, Rusted Root. There he co-wrote the song, Send Me On My Way, featuring, uh, featured in the movies Ice Age and Matilda. Send Me On My Way also became the first song on Mars where it woke up NASA's Mars rover. I'm glad to present Jim Donovan. Thank you very much. Good morning, everybody. How are we doing? Good we good? Excellent. All right, with a little bit, a little bit of technical moving here. While we're getting set up, will you do me a quick favor? Will you turn to the people, like a couple people beside you, say good morning and introduce yourself. Ready, set, go.
All right. Will you take a nice deep breath with me? Just big breath in. And just let it go with some sound. Ah. Oh, I like that. Let's do that again. Uh, big breath in. Some sound on the way out. Ah. Now, this time when you let some sound out, I was kind of noticing some of you earlier. Can you, can you be a little more belligerent? <laughs> Let's try. Big breath in. Belligerent out. Ah. Oh, there's... I, that, that guy in the back is still holding back. Let's one more time for him. Ready? Big breath in. Ah. Will you rub your hands together like this? Rub them together. Get them nice and warm, nice and warm, nice and warm. Good. We're going to have some fun here. Um, the way my segments work, we're going to do 20 minutes now, and then uh, we'll have another speaker, and then I'll come back and we'll do 20 more minutes. I want to start with an idea that I think is critical to what we're doing today and to, to a lot of your lives, and that is that music and movement has the ability to help support uh, the connection between your motor skills, right, muscles, and your senses. And so today, you notice we've got these, these colorful tubes. We're going to be using some easy ideas uh, that don't require any musical ability whatsoever to help you support the internal systems that um, control, that affect your walking, and your speech. So we're going to start with rhythm for the first section, and then we're going to work with the voice in the second session. Will you bring your, your rhythm tubes out, or the boom whackers as, as they are called? As you can tell, they are, they're pretty easy. You just hit them together. That's it. It's real easy. When we do the music component of today, here's, here's the idea. Uh, if you make a mistake, you're out. No, no, no. <laughs> If, if you make a mistake, the rule is you smile and you keep going, right? So, so no worrying. This is not about perfect. All the benefits happen in the process, okay? So I'm going to play, uh, first of all, let's just make some sound. Let me hear you. Lovely, lovely. You can also tap them on, your, on the bony parts of your legs. And if you can't reach, that's okay. Or lightly on the table, very lightly. And if uh, that person beside you has been irritating you for your whole life, you, you know, once... No, I, I'm, I'm kidding. Don't hit anybody. I don't think there's insurance for boom whacker injuries. All right. I'm going to play some patterns. I'm actually going to sit down just like you. I'm going to play some patterns. And what I'd like you to do is to play them along with me. I'm going to change them every so often, so, so when I do this, the change is near, okay? So here's the first one. Watch. Watch first. Try it out. Very nice. New one. Ready? New one. My favorite sound in the world. <laughs> New one. New one. I'm just messing with you. I'm just messing with you. I've been doing this for like 30 years. I forget sometimes. Um, I'm wondering, um, can we get our feet moving? Right, left? Do your best, right? We're not worried about perfect. Maybe we'll go just a little bit faster, like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So keep these going, and let's still play our exercises. Ready? Here comes a new one. the table if you're too far away, right? Or too close, I mean. Now, can you watch me? So can you add this part? 
Oh, it's a whole different thing. Your feet are going back and forth. We're asking your brain to do some things that maybe it's never done before. If it's challenging, that's a good thing. And the reason is that when we challenge the brain to do things it hasn't done before, and we repeat them, and repeat them, we create new neural pathways. So you don't need to be good at music to build a neural pathway. In fact, it's one of the key things we need to do every year we're alive, is to build new things. Rhythm's a great way to do that. Let's try a couple more, ready? A little faster. And you can let your feet rest. New one. Can you reach the ground? Ready? Feet, feet. Feet, feet. New one. Can I get it? We're in southern Pennsylvania down here. Let's try other side. Remember, we are stimulating motor skills and connecting them with your senses. Now, can we get this? Is this one's kind of fun? I know. It's all right. New one. Good. One more. Woo! Woo! And let's stop. Give everybody, everybody a boom whacker round of applause. Nicely done. Nice, yeah. There you go. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Could we just take a, a nice breath in together? Let it go. Just take, take five seconds, maybe close your eyes. Notice if you feel any different after just a little bit of activity. It's okay if you don't. But if you do feel different, I wonder what's, what is new? What's changed between right now and when you first walked in? I hear relaxed. Some circulation moving. Yep. Better mood, more energized. How, how many feel a little more energy? How many feel more focused? Mm -hmm. More relaxed? Excellent. So here's the thing. You don't need to be a professional musician to get the benefits of rhythm. Just willing, right? Just willing to try something new. In fact, that, that is the way that we keep this, the brain, healthy over the lifespan, is continuously kind of pushing back against that thing that, that tells us, ah, let's just do the thing we've always done, right? The same way we've always done it. As we change and try new things, we have uh, the potential to grow uh, till the very last day of your existence, right? Don't buy the idea that once you're a certain age that, that you can stop growing. I, I think that's, that's a, a false idea. In fact, if you're willing, right, you can, you can make significant change. Let's try one more thing, because I know our, our time is short in this session. I'd like us, together, we've got this beautiful big group. I'm so glad to see everybody, by the way. Uh, we, we missed all of you during all, all the pandemic stuff. This is really nice to see. Let's just give a round of applause to be, for being together. Yep. So we, this is an opportunity. Uh, this opportunity right now to be with these people in this room, in this space, will never happen again like this, right? It'll always be different from this point on. So let's make some music together. The way it works, bring your instruments back. The way it works is I'm going to start a pattern, and I want you to play whatever you want. And, at the same time, do your best to help us sound good together. 
All right, let's try it out. I'm going to start a rhythm. You play whatever you like. Do your best to help us sound good together. Ready? Now when you get bored, change it up. Try playing a different place, maybe on your leg, maybe on the floor, maybe the table. I like it. I like it. Now look at the color of your boom whacker and play close attention. On my cue, on my count, I want to hear just the yellow. Get ready? One, two, only the yellow play. Oh, heck yeah. Yellow is in the house. Hey, Orange, get ready. Get ready. One, two, only the orange play. Hey, Red, join them. Hey, Purple, get ready. Only the purple play. Very nice. Hey, Green, are you ready? Get ready. One, two, only the green now. That sounds so nice. Hey, Purple, join them. Hey, Yellow, join them. Hey, Orange and Red, join them. Try to sound like one, one sound. Very together. Big breath in, let it go. In, let it go. One more time, in, let it go. Four, three, two, and stop. Give everybody a big boom like a round of applause. Beautiful, beautiful. You may set your boom whackers back on the table. Uh, we're going to use them again in my next session so you can hang out with them. And then later when we're finished, we'll just return them to the bags from whence they came. Um, thank you for being here. Thank you for taking care of yourself. I saw all these people exercising. I'll see you in just a little bit. Much love.